Woo-hoo. let's check in with meteorologist Troy Bridges. We're just flying by yeah, this morning. Yeah, we're moving, moving on a by because we're having so much fun. You know, today a little different than the last couple of days. We will have some rain in western zones, but not a total washout until the afternoon. And if you are going to the beaches today, be aware we're going to see rain at the beaches this afternoon from about 3 on into about 6 o'clock. So go early so you can enjoy the beaches. We will have that moderate rip current risk. But you can see a front stalled out just to our north, south Georgia, north Florida. It's acting as a focal point for rain stretching through our northern zones. But out in the Gulf of Mexico, there's moisture to work with that is streaming in. But as it does move on land, the farther off to the west, actually the farther off to the east that it goes, it does begin to fizzle a little bit. So it's moving from west to east, and that's where we'll see most of the rain come from, from the west moving to the east into the afternoon today. So there's a live view with the radar as we show you a few of those scattered showers building in to areas like Dunellen and Ocala, western and central zones of Marion County seeing the rain, but much of it does fizzle the farther inland it moves. It's a little bit heavier the farther out to sea it is. So we're not dealing with much rain this morning. We'll see more of this and we'll show you future radar as the day goes by. But here is a live view at Port Canaveral in Brevard County. You see some high thin clouds that the sun is filtering through. Looking good. Harmony of the seas docked there at Port Canaveral. Some of those boats heading out to do some fishing, it looks like. 85 is the temperature, or it feels like temperature. The actual temperature is 80 with a south-southwest wind near 15 miles per hour. So a little breezy in Brevard County to start this morning in that south wind, bringing in plenty of warm air, and that westerly component to the wind, bringing in some of that humidity. So there's a live view of downtown Orlando. You see some haze as we see the city buildings there and the sun coming up, a good bit of sunshine to enjoy. 81 is what it feels like from that view. The actual temperature is 78 degrees. Elsewhere at 77 in Ocala and in the villages. New Smyrna Beach at 77. Sanford at 75. Right now, Palm Coast at 75 degrees. It's 78 right now at Melbourne. Did I say Sanford 75? Sanford 78. Orlando is 78 degrees as well. But th- here is a look at the pinpoint accurate forecast as we take you into the next 12 hours. We do warm to a high of 94 degrees, feeling more like 100 to 105 before the heaviest rain builds in and that comes in after 2 p.m. and we'll see a 60 percent coverage. So let's show you future radar and watch the clock at the top of the screen as we count you down. You see the rain moving from west to east and there you go by 11 this morning a scattering of showers here and there. Most of the heavier rain comes in after 2 p.m. and we see it moving into Marion County, also Lake Sumter County as well, even Orange County and then pushing by 5 p.m. mainly to our coastal counties. So again the beach is looking wet at 5 p.m. but most of the rain comes to an end heading into tonight. There are the highs for today. Mid 90s for inland spots, low 90s along the coast. Titusville at 93, 94 for Sanford, 89 for Leesburg. Here's a look at your seven day forecast as we get results and we take you into next week. Temperatures in the mid 90s across the board up to 96 by Wednesday with rain chances close to 60% every day next week up to 70% by Friday with a high of 93. Amanda, back to you. Thank you, Troy.